what do you take for granted? What, what do you simply assume will always be there? Maybe for some of you, the fact that you woke up today in an air-conditioned home, that's a beautiful thing. For others, the fact that you could walk out of your home without any concerns being robbed or attacked or violated, and then you got into a car, which you were then able to start, and it worked. And you could intelligently and safely drive <laughs> to your place of employment. What about for your children? How many of you spent all night wondering and worrying where they might be? What could be happening to them? Health, education, a safe place. These are things we take for granted and we probably shouldn't. We should be grateful for. Well, this rise up time of prayer for the conference is to help us pray and reconsider and remember the needs of refugees. People who, for various reasons, from political instability to horrendous acts of war to uh, the, the tearing apart of the social fabric and, and genocide, they have been chased many times from their homes. They have lived in refugee camps. Their existence has been challenged to the very core of our greatest, deepest part of our beings. They can't take it for granted. And now, by God's providence, they are here in the United States, here in our conference, and we have the chance to be a blessing to them and for them and to walk with them and to help them as they begin a new life, as they learn what it means to have education for their children, as they learn how to function in a, a land without the same language, and as they go forward hoping to find a place to continue to practice their faith and worship. The Iowa Missouri Conference is committed to loving and serving and caring for the refugees whom God is bringing to us in this conference. And we have groups from around the world in many of our largest cities, and we have created various initiatives to love and to serve them. And one of those is being the education fund that supports any refugee family that wants to send their child to one of our schools. Uh, thank you for your support with that. But this is now a time for us to pray and to ask for God to work in a very mighty way for the people that can't take things for granted. Pray that they will come to experience a safe place. Pray that we can help to provide for them the chance to learn English so they can function and care for their families. Pray for their families as they are wrestling with the changes and the flipping all of their life upside down in a new place. Pray that we can provide safe, beautiful places of worship for the church to continue to worship and to be safe. So please join us in praying right now and supporting refugees as they begin a new life here to be abundantly blessed. Thank you for being willing to pray. Thank you for your ongoing support. And may we continue to reach out and be a blessing to others.